<clears throat> Coach, have you seen at all like the younger guys on this team, Anfernees, Nasir, Trendon, CJ, et cetera, bonding at all because they're kind of playing together a lot and helping carry the load. Maybe there's some camaraderie building there. You said, have I seen their what at all? Bonding. Like, are oh, they, because oh, oh. they're playing a lot more. It's one thing if they're not playing together or two are or one are, you know, now they're out there together and contributing. Yeah, to yeah they are. They are. They are bonding, uh, you know, a ton. You know, but those dudes, it's, 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 I'm not surprised at all. Those dudes kind of, you know, they bond off the floor quite a bit. You see them, you know, uh, together on the road some. Um, so they, you know, I always felt like that those those type of dinners and nights and stuff, those things, that's a direct correlation to um, how you bond on the floor because you, you, it's all about getting to know one another, you know. Um, and you have to get to know people, like, in competition, out of competition. Like, what are they like? What do they do? And I, I think that they they were doing that before these opportunities came about for them to play, which is why you see their chemistry uh, going pretty well out there. Coach, the other night you mentioned uh, C.J. Ellaby's progress and you you noted, you know, the work of your assistant coaches and stuff, which I have no doubt that they've helped. But I think young players in particular, they have to have a want to, you know, want to get better. And I'm curious what you've seen from C.J. Where have you seen his want to or how have you seen his want to this season? Yeah, um, CJ is, uh, he's just a, Jason, he's just a, he's just a, he's a competitor and he's a worker, you know, um, and he's just, he, he just comes in every day and he puts his work in, you know, um, my relationship obviously started in the summer league and he's really struggled in summer league. Mm -hmm. And I think, um, you know, he learned something about himself during that time and so did I. And, um, you know, I felt bad that, you know, in summer league, my whole thing was like, give CJ the ball, let CJ rock. Like, he's been here, like, give him his opportunity. And then we just kind of found out that that's just not the way that he's best used, you know. Um, but I thought it was important for him to kind of find that out, too. Yeah. And the way that he's doing now, the extra effort plays and diving on the floor and taking matchups and, you know, his, his jumpers fall and like, that's, you're going to get the best version of him being used that way. So um, his, his, his care level uh, is, is, is incredible. You know, it really is. When you were in Vegas and, and you saw him work out, uh, I believe he was working out with Norm at the time too. And, and Norm has kind of taken him under his wing, I would say. Have you noticed that? that dynamic yeah yeah i did um yeah norm he's like uh norm is like his big brother so they they train a lot in the summer together they spend a lot of time competing out there um as they train and so um you know that's that's speaking of guys being happy for him you know norm and and uh norm's trainer um aj i, I know that those guys are, are extremely happy and proud to see him balling Coach, how satisfied you are about the level of concentration of uh, the young players, especially Nasir, CJ Elbai, and Fernie? How satisfied uh, you, you are about that? Yeah, I've been happy. I've been very satisfied with um, their focus level. You know, um, it's not easy sometimes, but they, they've been able to continue to stay focused. Um, you know, they, they, they're playing so hard, but not only that, like they're playing smarter for longer stretches um, than, than, than they were, you know, a month ago, you know. And so as a coach, you, that, that's, those are the kind of things that you preach and you try to teach. So, you know, I, I, it makes me happy and proud that, that, uh, that they're picking those things up. And for, coach. for oh, go ahead. <laughs> coach, I wanted to ask you about uh, Anthony and just his, his growth. And, and what you've seen out of him now really being the guy, uh, you know, option one. Yeah, yeah. And it's been great, obviously. I, I mean, the world is kind of waking up to him. You know, um, he, he's been able to take advantage of his opportunity, you know, have the ball in his hands and 
know that he's going to play starter minutes, you know. Um, so he's not only proving it to himself, he's proving it to the world that uh, his ceiling is really high. And uh, he continues to get better from a standpoint. Everybody, even before this year, you knew that he's a, he's a shot maker. You know, he can make shots. But his playmaking is getting better. Um, his defense is getting better. He's getting to the basket. Uh, his mid-range, his finishes, his little floaters, and, you know, everything is starting to get better. And he's reading the game much better, which is the development when you are back up and you will at some point want to be a starter. Um, you have to learn how to, like, read coverages, read the game, understand what teams are trying to do, um, beat them to the punch, like things like that where I think – He's getting better, um, you know, come another 40 games from now. I mean, he, he's, you know, he, he may have he may have that figured out. Coach, you mentioned the the ceiling that he has. Uh, you know, you've you've played with, played against really special players. Is there an intangible or something that you've seen out of him, out of Anthony, that where you think, man, like this dude could be special? Well, outside of his his, his physical gifts, uh, the thing that I love most about him is he's, he wants me to coach him hard. You know, um, he wants to be coached. Um, and you can you can get on him. You know, he's had some really good games and come in the next day, and I'm like, bro, you got to be better. Like, you know, um, and then I can just show him how he can be better. Um, and he, he just accepts it. You know, he accepts that. And that is – that that's the mentality of uh, great players, you know, um, because I say this all the time, but learning is, is something you can never complete. You know, you always got to keep learning. So he's all in with that. You don't have to like, and, and I like that you could just say whatever to him, you know, and he'll, he'll accept it and take it. Coach, is, uh, is Larry going to make the trip? Yeah. Great. Thank you. Hey, Coach, going back to the uh, Norm and CJ dynamic of him kind of mentoring him, can you explain why that's valuable to have on a team? I always felt like as a vet, it's the way that you give back to the game, you know, um, especially a vet like Norm who, who does it right, you know. Um, he works his butt off. Um, you know, he keeps him, he's a professional, like he, he, he does it the right way. So I always felt like, and everybody doesn't feel this way, but I always felt like this is responsibility of yours um, to do what somebody's done for you mm -hmm. to the next group. And um, I, I just feel like, you know, those guys, when, you know, when, when, when uh, Norm takes CJ under his wing and, you know, Dame and Ant, not like you, you, those, those things are really important, you know, um, because one, if you don't, that young player is left kind of like trying to figure out on his own or trying to guess, like you no longer have to guess when you have a mentor or, or a big brother, you know, if you will. And it takes all that work out of it. You can cut right through it and, you, and, and he can actually let you know what it's going to take for you to make it in this league. That right there is really important. All right, we're going to wrap there. Thank you. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Oh.